In this video, we will learn how to work with multiple surfaces. Make sure that you quit grass from the previous exercise and let's open grass again. We will select location and knapsack. And this time we will work in a different region. Let's make the window, the display window, a little bit larger. And let's set region. to a smaller, higher resolution area. And that will be rural at one meter resolution. And let's just print to check the resolution that we are setting. So you can see it is one meter resolution. So once we have a region set, we can add first raster, first elevation model that we will be working with. And it is this one meter resolution raster. Now you can see that it's shown here as a very small subset of the region that we have worked with previously. So now we need to zoom to computational region to set the display extent to the computational region that we have set with G dot region. So this is one of the, this is bare earth LiDAR based digital elevation model that we will be working with. Now, the second surface will be multiple return LiDAR surface and that's the LiDAR surface that includes the vegetation and homes. We don't have that surface computed yet. So we need to go to the instructions and to compute this surface from LiDAR data, just copy and paste this command. We will work with this command and we will explain this interpolation later on. So now let's just run it. It gives you some diagnostic messages about number of points that are being used. Now we have it computed and we can add it to the layer manager. And it's here in our map set. So you can see that it has some additional features that we haven't seen in the previous digital elevation model. Now to see these two surfaces and work with these two surfaces in three-dimensional space, we will switch between two-dimensional and three-dimensional view. So we will switch to three-dimensional view. Now we have both surfaces displayed in perspective. So we will adjust the direction of view, the elevation, and we will also adjust the resolution so that we can see both of the digital elevation models at their highest resolution. So you may recall, we do it by adjusting the fine mode to one. So you can see that the surface is now much sharper and we will adjust also the resolution of the second surface to one. Now we don't see the second surface because it is hidden under the multiple return surface. So just to check that it is there, we can adjust the position 
of the surface. So let's just switch to the multiple return surface that has the forest on it and let's pull it up. So you can see that there is an additional surface below this one. So let's put it back because we will be looking at the relationship between these two surfaces. So let's ju just set that position to zero. And now to study the relationship between the surfaces, we will use cutting planes. And uh, for cutting planes to be effective, uh, we will set the color of these uh, uh, digital elevation models to, con to a constant. So the let's switch the color of the multiple return surface to constant and it is by default black so we will change it let's say to green and then let's select the bare earth digital elevation model Again, we will change its color to constant and instead of green, we will use brown. Now you, you can, we can see a little bit of that bottom surface here. Again, you can check that the color was changed now we have moved it up, so there it is, let's put it back. And we will also add as a reference an additional constant surface. And we will do it here. So we will add a new surface, again we will set its resolution to one, we can give it a certain elevation value. Let's use 80 meters. And we will also change the color, let's say, to dark blue. And now we can adjust the view a little bit because we will be looking at this surface from the side. So you can already see the, the brown surface, which is the bare earth, and the plane that we have added. Now to explore the relationship between these surfaces and, for example, the structure of this forest, we will use cutting planes. Let's increase the z exaggeration so that the profile shows the structure a little bit better. And now under tab analysis, we can define cutting planes. So let's just select plane one. So you can see that the surfaces were cut in half. Now we will rotate the cutting plane. and move it a little bit towards us. And to get the actual profile, we will shade this cut. Now it is transparent. So we will color the uh, profile with bottom color. And now we can very nicely, clearly see the structure of the forested area here. And we can move the cutting plane, explore it further. And you can see that here the structure of this forest is pretty complex with a lot with the uh, vegetation and trees at different elevations. Now when you move to this forested area, 
the profile is much more homogeneous and that's before this is a planted forest stand with all the plant it's all pines planted at the same time so the trees are mostly the, uh, at, same, at the same elevation. Uh, and then again you can further explore it by uh, rotating your, your profile and moving it around. I'd say now you will get the uh, cross section in this direction. Now let's remove the planes and let's look at both surfaces separately. Now we don't need the reference constant surface anymore so we will delete it. We will change the view, we will zoom out a little bit to make space for both of the surfaces next to each other. Now when you go to data and surface you can change the position. So we have already changed the position up and down, but that doesn't allow us to see them next to each other. So if we want to see them next to each other, let's set Z uh, uh, shift to zero, but we can move the surface in X direction as well. And now uh, we can see the, the surfaces next to each other. And uh, you can rotate them. You can center it. Or you can move them 